Hey again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of this week's releases presented by themusic.com.au. I'm your host, Neil Griffiths. And to help me go through this week's best releases is Melbourne's online editor, Jessica Dale. Jess, welcome back for another round. Thank you, Neil. How are you? I'm good, thanks, buddy. How was, uh, how was your birthday last week? I know it's, uh, it was an event being in Melbourne. Yeah. More. It was lovely. I got to have like a rolling dinner, a rolling birthday celebration for it and get to catch up with some friends. And yeah, really nice. Very good stuff. Well, Jess, uh, you've compiled this list for me. I'm looking right off a sheet here. Um, so I'm just going to go for it right now. First off the list is Benny with Hey You X. Uh, so this is the debut album for um, Benny, New Zealand artist. Um, obviously, you would know her song Soaked, which was huge. She had three songs in the Hottest 100 last year. I think this is just going to be an absolutely massive release. And, and just even in terms of the collaborations that she's got on there, um, Lily Allen, Grimes, Kenny Beats, and a stack more. If I was doing a debut album and I could get Lily Allen on there, I think I'd be very, very happy with that. At least. Next yes. on the list is Archie Roach, who actually was newly announced to be inducted into the ARIA Hall of Fame at this month's ceremony. Uh, the album is called The Songs of Charcoal Lane. Jess, tell us about it. So uh, this is, uh, Charcoal Lane is one of the most iconic albums of, of all time. Uh, and, and Archie's done this re-release of it now that he's actually re-recorded the songs uh, at his kitchen table during the Victorian lockdown. Uh, and it's it's the song's, represented and and it's just an incredible gift to get this 30 years on and and that induction uh really it, it just is such a testament to to him as an artist and what he's done so yeah really beautiful release there yeah looking forward to seeing him get inducted this month's ceremony on to the album of the week apparently cry club uh recorded this album right after my 30th birthday because it's called <laughs> god i'm such a mess jess why is it album of the week well, the Neil Griffiths story, obviously. So, <laughs> um, no, so we've, we've loved Cry Club for a long time. Um, Neil, we had them on the podcast at Big Sound a couple of years ago. They're just so exciting and everything they do is great. Uh, that huge song that they had, DFTM, was just massive. Um, I had that on on loop. Uh, luckily, it is the uh, the opening track of the album, and I think a lot of people are really going to love this one from this Wollongong, now Melbourne-based duo. If you head to themusic.com.au, you, as usual, every Friday, you'll see the album of the week piece. Again, it is Cry Club with God, I'm Such a Mess. Jess, on to the speed round. Three albums we want to give some love to, very quickly, of course. Uh, first on that list is a small independent band that I'm sure no one has ever heard of called ACDC with Power Up. Yeah, I think they've got some real potential here, Neil. Um, no, obviously it's ACDC's 17th studio album. Um, it's going to be an absolutely massive one for them. It's their first new music since 2014 um, and obviously really exciting anytime they do anything. So. And moving on to Woods with Crystal Ball. Uh, so Wood's debut album, um, she's now a Melbourne-based artist as well. She's actually from Townsville. This whole journey started for her um, working um, on a song with the Kite String, uh, Kite String Tangle, and then she just hit this really creative period, wrote 40 songs in three weeks, and now is, yeah, releasing the album. And last in the speed round, Hachiku with I'll Probably Be Asleep. Again, another debut. Um, so Hachiku actually uh, is from Germany, moved to moved to Australia as an exchange student, um, kind of fell in with the Milk Records crowd. And yeah, everything that group do is just beautiful. So I think this will be another exciting one. Well played, Jess. Lastly, one more thing. What I got this week, I'm looking here, it says Josh Teske and Ash Grunwald. Yeah, so um, two very much love Australian artists and they've they're collabed together. It's called Push the Blues Away and just a really, really beautiful listen. Jess, well done. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> Look, we'll do it all again next week. Um, I know we have a, a couple of big ones for next week, so we can't really say too much, but I think we already know the album of the week, don't we? Yes. We'll talk about it off air. Keep it secret, Neil. If you like what you saw, check out deliveredlive.com.au for all the past episodes are on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We'll do it all again next Friday. Jess, I'll see you there. Bye, Neil.